Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 101 Start and Stop Audio Sound Action Script 2 AS2 Starting a new FLA Making sure Action Script 2 is selected And the first thing I want to do is go up here under Window There's something called Common Libraries I want Sound And I want to pick out some kind of a sound. Down here are all these different sounds so if I click on one and click this little arrow alright so find out what you want I'm going to go with this one it's an annoying one it's SI or sirene police sirenes uh, have a layer open Select frame one of that layer and just drag this up onto the stage. Close this and if you look closely there's a little line in this that tells me there's sound. So if I test at this right now, control test movie test. There's that sound. If I open my library, it's also in here. So right click on it, properties, and you can see here that it's 16.2 seconds long. Select this action script, click on this export for action script, and another check should here. So both these will check. I don't want this big, great big name because this is like an instance name. So I'm going to copy all that and delete it or highlight all that. And I'm just going to call it Siren, S I R E N, and click OK. S-I-R-E-N is what it's called and now I can go down here and I'm just going to just right click and delete this layer so I have that still here in my library uh, with this layer selected I want to make a button so picking up a rectangle tool or an oval tool it doesn't matter and here I'm going to make a rectangle or a square it doesn't matter I'm keeping it green because it's going to be the start button highlight it right click convert it to a symbol uh, make sure button is selected and let's call it start s t a r t underscore b t n copy that okay open the properties panel paste it in Good. Uh, let's call this layer buttons so we know what they are. B U T T O N S. Come over here now, pick up a red color. Again, my rectangle tool and make a rectangle. Doesn't matter what size you are. Selection tool, highlight, right click, convert it to a symbol. Make sure button is selected and call this stop. S T O P underscore VTN so I have a stop button and a start button lock that layer select this layer insert layer call it AS as an action script select frame one open the actions panel again if you don't have the actions panel here go up to window well if you don't have it I'll put this up here for a minute you don't have an action panel go up to window select action and the panel opens if the panel is very wide it won't dock properly so what I usually do is make it small click here somewhere and as soon as you get to here see how you get all that blue leave it go and there's your action because you, if you're writing a lot of script you don't have to go up here all the time put it on this is called docking it now type 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 this code variable VAR turns purple. I'm calling this uh, my sound, capital M, capital S, my sound, colon, sound, sound is at capital S, turns blue, equals new, space, new is uh, purple, space, sound, same as a sound, capital S, turns blue, open bracket, close bracket, uh, semicolon, I'm saying my sound, that's that variable I made, period attach sound so we just made a place to put the sound and here we're going to take that sound and put it 
in this place. Period. Attached sound. A T T A C H small A small A capital S O U N D all one word turns blue. Open bracket and this is the name I gave it. If I open the library panel and look at it, it's called linkage name of Sirene. See that? That's called its linkage. It's like a it's like a um, instance name. Open bracket quotation Sirene S I R E N capital S close quotation close bracket semicolon. And now we got to tell it to turn on and off by these two buttons. So put a couple enters and type, 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 type this code. Start underscore BTN, that's the green button, period, on press, small O, capital P, that turns blue if it's spelt right, equals function, turns purple, open bracket, close bracket. Here's an open curly bracket from my function. There's my variable I made called my sound. Period. Start. S T A R T turns blue. It's a small s. Open close bracket semicolon. There's a close curly bracket for this function. Copy those lines. Click here. Couple enters. Paste. Now we have a stop changes to a stop stop button and I believe this has to be stop stop with a small s turns blue and let's test it out control test movie test I'll let it play through it's annoying it was 16 seconds I believe Okay, this time I'm going to play it and cut it off. Why did the stop not work? Okay, let's find out why my stop did not work. The action code looks good, but what I'm suspecting is I didn't give this an instance name. And this is the difference between this action script 2 and the newer action script 3. If you had Action Script 3, it would be telling you that you forgot the instance name, if, that's, if that indeed is my problem. So I'm going to my main scene, my main timeline. Uh, I'm going to call this layer AS as an Action Script. I'm going to unlock the Buttons layer. I'm going to select this lower button, check the Properties panel, and I didn't give it an instance name. Like I say, if this was Action Script 3, it would have told me that. S T O P shift underscore btn that should be it now let's test it I know it starts and if I let it go eventually it stop and it stops when it starts it always starts from the beginning I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned